Now, she's notched up a string of top ten hits, and her unique voice has won her millions of fans. But now, Heather Small has set herself a new challenge. This one involves lycra and lots of sequins. Very nervous Heather, and who wouldn't be, took to the dance floor on Saturday with her partner, strictly new boy Brian Fortuna. It was an energetic salsa they performed. It got a mixed response from the judges. They came fourth on the leaderboard and stormed their way through to the next round. Heather and Brian are going to be joining us here on the sofa. Let's first just have a look at how they did. The Queen of the Salsa. I love it. I thought it was fantastic. They're right, the feet a little bit, arms sometimes, but the rhythm you produced, I thought you did a great job. Well done. And for a first dance, absolutely love. And Brian, well done. Craig Revel Horwood. Five. Arlene Phillips. Six. Len Goodman. Eight. Bruno Tognoli. And Heather and Brian Joyce now. Uh, very good morning. Good morning. Now, Heather, just tell us how nerve wracking is it when you're standing <laughs> at the top of those stairs and the camera sort of focuses in on you as your name's being announced just before that walk down? What does that feel like? Terrifying. Yeah. Absolutely terrifying. And you think to yourself, am I going to make it down the stairs without falling over? And you want to. Make sure that you are smiling, that you let people know that it is, in, it is enjoyable at the end of the day. But that initial, you know, moment, you, you, it's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. And Ryan, how's she doing so far? She's fabulous. And I, I would say that even if she wasn't sitting here next to me. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I would she, say that even if she wasn't fabulous. How does, she's actually threatened me and said if I didn't say that, no. <laughs> There'd um, be trouble. She's doing very well. You know, we come in, we put about three to four hours of work in each day. And, um... Three to four a, hours a day. A day. At a least. Day. And then sometimes and we go on to the group dance after that. Today, Heather informed me that we're also working on Sunday this week, so... <laughs> yeah, well, it's, a, it's, the, it's the fear of failure or making a complete fool of yourself on national TV. That'll make you work hard. Yeah, well, let's have a look at you rehearsing now. I mean, that is a, a lot of rehearsals. I mean, Heather, you are used to performing. Mm. You're used to rehearsing. Mm. But this, is this a schedule that you just uh, are not used to? It's very different because it is so very physical, you know. Um, when I sing, obviously... I use my voice. Ooh. Sorry, just watch almost get dropped uh, there. Goodness what then? me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very ungainly. <laughs> and up she gets. Because <laughs> some of those moves are really, they're quite risky. That bit where you turn and Brian's holding your neck. Oh, the neck drop. Yeah, yeah the, my sister calls it the neck break drop. But um, <laughs> it's a. Uh, he did say at first, we we're going to try a neck drop, and I, and I looked at him, I rolled my eyes, I did my whole thing, and, uh, but we, we ended up doing it. And I think it's credit to Brian and his teaching skills and uh, his persuasion skills as well, because uh, we tried it, and I thought it did work. Yeah. And and which, I only fell once. Which category do you fall into in terms of people who come to the show? Are you the kind of person who literally never dances, mm -hmm. uh, dances at weddings badly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, fancied yourself a bit normally as, as um, you know, being okay on the dance floor, not embarrassing? Where would well, you be? I would say that I'm definitely not embarrassing, and I do like to dance, but I've not done any formal dancing, but like everyone else, you know, if you, there's, a, there's your favourite songs playing, I like to throw myself around on the dance floor, but usually I'm on my own and I can do whatever I like. I'm not being led. At I home. don't have to follow. <laughs> well, Brian, do you feel the pressures on you as well? Because this is your first series of Strictly Come Dancing. I know you were with Dancing with the Stars over in the States, but do you feel that there's a certain amount of added pressure for you? Um, not added pressure. I mean, for me, I was a little bit concerned that the British public wouldn't take to me very well, being that I'm American and the new guy on the show. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been going good so far. Um, and how do you, f I mean, what about the judges? How, is, is there a difference between the, the, the judging, the things they say, the way they judge? Well, we only have three judges in the United States mm -hmm. as opposed to four here. Um, but it's pretty much the same. I do know Len and Bruno from the American show, and they're very nice guys. And so um, hopefully they'll mark us well this season. And Heather, just go through the process. When you were, when you were invited, to be honest, mm. was it an immediate, yeah, I'll go for it? Did you talk to people? You know, what, um, was, the, what was the decision process? Initially, I did say, I did say no. And, um, Why? 
Well, like I said, I, I suffer very badly from nerves, A, and B, to do something in front of the nation that's not your forte, that you don't do first and foremost, that it, you make yourself quite vulnerable. Do and I thought I'd look foolish. Do you get those kind of debilitating nerves, or is it a positive nerve thing? You, you know, as you in you're excited and you're nervous, or you're just, you know, you can't move? Um, you know, it's become like I can't move, and that's, another, that's the challenge I gave myself. And my family are huge fans and that made me reconsider really and I thought what's the, the worst could that could happen I could fall on national TV That's yeah, worse. public humiliation in front of <laughs> nine million people I mean Brian, apart from that does that come across <laughs> in <laughs> Heather's rehearsals or does that show in the fact that she's trying to rehearse more I can totally relate you must be terrified you don't want to make a fool of yourself you're not making a fool of yourself you're a fantastic dancer well I don't know but the thing is you know what uh, is the overriding thing it's just so much fun, yeah. you know, just with, um, with Brian going in and even though it's going to be like four hours and we work quite hard, we have a, a ball, it's a laugh and then when we do the group dances with the other ladies, oh it's fun, <laughs> it, it is fun, I'm, we get in trouble often by um, Richard the uh, choreographer because we're talking too much but uh, we, we do, it's, it's just very, very much, it's uh, a fun thing to who do. Who did you dance with in America before? Um, a woman by the name of Shandy Finnessy. She was Miss USA in 2004. Okay. Um, very beautiful, nice person. Um, How did she compare with Heather? Uh, Heather better or...? Heather is... I, I'm, and I'm not lying here. Heather is my favorite student that I've ever worked with. And I, and I say that from the bottom no of my train. heart. We, we, oh, no train. Oh, stop. <laughs> Again, she joking. threatened me. No, um, we go, we have a ball. We have mm. a really, really good time together. Mm. And um, I think that positive energy in the room contributes to the dancing. Yeah. Um, just, I just want to ask you before we go, uh, you specialize in teaching wheelchair ballroom mm. and Latin dancing, something I, I'm not sure many people really know about. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, this is a program that my mother and I developed about uh, three to four years ago. And um, what my mother's done is created a written syllabus for wheelchair ballroom dancing where we have the able-bodied with the uh, disabled and vice versa. And um, it's been something that's really touched my life and um, opened my eyes to a lot of different things. Was there a reason that you got involved in that? My mom. Yeah, but uh, does she use a wheelchair? No, she doesn't. Um, she had another woman who she was working with and um, her daughter was in a wheelchair. And they started to develop the program together and it took off and um, it's been something that I've continued with. Thank you both very much for coming this morning. What, you've got four hours to rehearsals today, is it? Um, One well, more than that. Yeah. <laughs> We've got our whole day of whole dancing. Day of it. Yeah. All the best. All credit to you. Brilliant. <laughs> Lovely Thank to you. see you. Good luck.